Maganda Umaga Posi Nolahat, Akaposi Athena Apia, and I represent the beautiful land of Rome, Ghana. I grew up in Ghana and I was fortunate to be raised around the world because of my parents' jobs. Um, I studied mass media communication, I also studied fashion, and I moved to Los Angeles to pursue economical engineering. Um, but then after school, I decided to move back home to Ghana to pursue pre-med so that I could be a pediatric doctor in the future. My advocacy is hashtag educate to eradicate. I use music to motivate and I use music to teach the youth so that they can fight for my better. When you say you use music, uh, you sing, you compose, what do you do? Yes, I am a musician. Um, I, I've been singing since I was three years old. Um, growing up as a child, it was really hard for me. I was bullied, I was teased because of the complexion of my skin and the texture of my hair. So people looked down on me. But because of that, I used, I found something that made me happy, and that was music. I used music to motivate myself, and I realized that because I had motivation from other people, and my parents were so kind and so there for me all the time, I decided to use music to motivate others. So by teaching the kids and teaching the youth, I realized that when you enter the classroom, you need only five seconds. You have five seconds to pay attention. If you don't grasp the attention within five seconds, you lose them. So I was able to use music to capture the attention. So it keeps them very entertained. It helps them remember everything I teach them. And I just feel like music is the best way to communicate. Show us. <laughs> um, okay, so I do. I five, release, five seconds. Five seconds. Okay, so I released a song titled um, Earth on Spotify. All the proceeds go back into my foundation to help. Um, and I'm also writing on the song titled Earth again. So I would sing that one since the first song is already out. Okay. It goes like this. Every single, every single minute there's a piece of plastic that enters our oceans and our cities are dying. Please everybody in the little is actions that we take and save a planet. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so my question is related to your song, since you mentioned of mentioning about plastics. Yes. Uh, how do you make large corporations accountable for the growing plastic pollution in our ocean? Um, so definitely, I believe that everything comes down to education, and every, everything comes down to having a voice. So I believe that we need to speak to them, and we need to let them know that these amounts of things are affecting our society, is affecting our water. Because in Ghana, for example, we have bad waste management. Um, so I believe that by educating the people and letting them know that um, this is what we are supposed to do to prevent our water from being polluted, it goes a very long way. Okay, last question. A lot of people in the world are experiencing water problems. They don't have access to water at all. How do you feel about people who are abusing this by throwing their garbage in the water while well, some people are dying out of drought? Um, well, it's very sad. And as I said, everything falls down to education. I feel like if people are not educated and they don't know what the implications are, they continue to do bad things and they continue to do these things that harm the environment. Everything falls down to apathy. I believe that people think that, oh, what can I possibly do to save Mother Earth? What can I do? I'm just one person. We need to teach people that we are all caretakers of Mother Earth. We all have personal responsibilities of Mother Earth. All of us have an action. And all of us need to work together because the action is now. Because um, by 2030, we will have no, we will not be able to change anything. It will be done. So everything, all the harm we caused to Mother Earth will be irreversible. So the time is now for us to act. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you.